Hi, my name is Heather Stuckel and I teach biology and ecology at Garfield High School in Seattle. And this year my ecology classes participated in the Cool School Challenge and we ran the program out of the two ecology classes and the students were completely in charge of how it all went. So we broke into committees and we had an audit team and we had a rewards team, we had a communications team and a display team. And those teams worked to generate excitement throughout the school and also get reusable coffee mugs and rewards for the classes that did the best with the Cool School Challenge. And that worked out really well to have something tangible to give teachers who were participating. And we had, through emailing and then talking at staff meetings, we had around 33 teachers participate in the Cool School Challenge and there was a lot of excitement among them. And uh, next year we're looking at expanding so that we have um, groups like Earth Corps here on campus where students are already really jazzed up about the environment. We're going to have them come on and participate so that we can really increase how many students are out there talking about the challenge. So I think it worked well for our first year and I'm excited to, I'm excited to do it again next year. Hey, I'm Torsten Walti. I'm the ambassador an external volunteer for the Cool School Challenge at the Garfield High School. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I helped the kids uh, think out of the box to reach um, their level of understanding what green means, what sustainable means, and hopefully uh, we were able to leave some imprints in their personal lives and in their future. So looking forward to helping these kids with the Cool School Challenge. And uh, what inspired you to do it? Um, I believe in using ways of getting to, to young people, um, help them to, to understand environmental impact and how they can do something for, for, for the world. I thought it was a really cool idea to have students, you know, really be proactive and have a real hand in um, the energy usage of the school. I really liked the idea of it. <laughs> the Cool School Challenge was definitely challenging, but definitely oh. cool. Oh, at the same oh, time. Throwing that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Alexis, and it was awesome. I, I learned mean, a lot. I learned how to audit classrooms, and I could apply that to my everyday life and at home. Uh huh. And hopefully, um, we really did something good for the for Garfield High School. All right, and Alexis. Well, I had fun doing the audit. I mean, we was in groups and stuff, so we worked with everybody. We didn't start very early, so um, what I would suggest to you guys who are doing it now, start early so that teachers have enough time to um, actually do what they need to do. This is one of the many posters that we have um, created in yeah. the school. Um, Thanks to the our, our um, artistic yeah. Yeah, squad, no. which was me, <laughs> very talented, and, and our communication and display. squad, but our, our talented and display artistic yeah. members of our yeah. classroom made this beautiful piece of artwork, and it's going to really help get out the word about the Cool School Challenge. They're all over the school, so look for them everywhere. Yeah, you know, look, look really, really, you know. And what is the action. symbolism of the bus on the earth? Well, I think it's everyone's getting on the wagon. The, yeah, it's the um, it's the bus that you know all the cool kids get on. You know how in elementary save school the there's the and, and how the cool they, bus. They to group the together to get on one bus to save the energy. Yes, it's everyone coming everything. together. It's unity, unity.
<laughs> How cool is okay? Who said that? Okay, sorry, Mr. Gage. <laughs> oh, it's definitely still recording. <laughs> What's up, bro? So here we have students utilizing the free water as opposed to buying a bottle which is plastic and it has to be shipped from like Norway. Oh, that's Obama's initiative, isn't it? No, it's not. No? What is it? What is it? Saving the world is awesome. I think it was really confusing, not, not gonna lie. What are your thoughts, average citizen of Garfield, about paper consumption, reusable water bottles, recycling, compost, etc.? I hate every single one of those things you just listed. Why is that, though? Uh, oh, those things are a waste of my time. <laughs> Alright. It's been fun. <laughs> do you use plastic water bottles? No! What do you do to get water? I usually go to the fountain or bring a little metal container thingamabobber to contain my liquid to drink. Why do you do that? Because it's easier and plastic after a while will start to give off something that can resemble uh, the pheromone that you know, estrogen that will make you grow boobs. That's the reason why one in three guys have breast growth. Do you know anything about, about uh, disposable water bottles and their effect on the environment? They're horrifying. Let alone do they take up a lot of space, they also, as I said before, can start or start giving off things that imitate estrogen. And that's okay. bad! Okay, get the backup shot, right. and then fly away. Okay. Just be excited. About... Yeah! Cool school <laughs> challenge. Um, I think that's true. That... Are you watching the game? Oh! Take a tour of Garfield's cool school challenge. Come take a tour with us about Garfield's dream.